<sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we all know it would be a crime if I didn't talk about none other than the apple today. Despite the throat exploding, we can't stop creating content. We don't stop it. The throat's going to explode. The stock's down 3%. What the F is this? Initial reaction was very positive uh, to these earnings. And then things, as you can see in the chart here, turned turned negative quickly. Um, the, the once loyal shareholders just, they had enough, okay? No. <clears throat> Let's see what these earnings are about. I want to see why they're down. I mean... Again, in my perspective, I know looking from what I thought they were going to do. Um, again, I didn't know where the share price was going to go after it. I believe I said the the earnings would be a beat um, from a revenue standpoint. I think I said $1 billion. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, I think that's what I said in the earnings video, but could be wrong. And anyways, I said iPhone strength. Uh, there'd be strength in iPhone, and not so much in the other segments, um, <clears throat> besides services, obviously. So, hey, let, let's see what's going on. I was staring at a wall just then. So, why is this stock down? Well, let's take a look at the CNBC article. Uh, and, and what do they want to headline with? They're going to say that the company falls after the company gives an outlook suggesting weak iPhone sales. And you know what I told you? That's BS. Uh, I, I don't know. We keep wanting to talk about this weak iPhone sales, and I've never once seen it come to fruition. Obviously, if it did come to fruition, it'd be in the headline. That's all I'm going to tell you right now. Um, <clears throat> beating estimates on revenue and earnings. Oh, what a shocker. Wow. Uh, where'd that come from? Where'd that come from? Anybody know? So... Uh, here's how we did versus the estimations. EPS, 218 versus 210 expected. Revenue, even better than I expected. 119.58 million versus 117.91. Now, if I am correct, I believe that only represents about a 1% to 2% growth year over year in terms of revenue. So, um, <clears throat> not phenomenal, obviously. Uh, when, when you get to these high, you know, Triple, I mean, I don't know what you're in at this point. You're in nine figures. Um, sorry, uh, you're in 12 figures. It's hard to really grow by significant percentage points anymore, right? Um, so I get that. <clears throat> now, iPhone, ladies and gentlemen, I don't miss except for when I do. And it happens for sure. Um, iPhone revenue, 69.7 billion. You know I'm excited about that number. You already know I am. Versus seven or 67.8 expected. How many times do I got to tell you I'm tired of this BS narrative about the iPhone sales? I'm tired of it. We're lying every time to ourselves if we ever believe it. You need to wake up, folks. I'm going to give you the red pill. And you better take it. <clears throat> the iPhone sales aren't weak. Just t tell them to shut up about that. Mac sales and iPad sales a little better um, <clears throat> than I expected, personally. Uh, Mac being up over that, not bad. iPad, I'm not shocked. I, I knew it was going to be pretty bad. Um, <clears throat> it's just not the segment for them, right? Other product, going to include like your wearables and stuff, so that, stuffs, stuff of that nature. It's good to see that line, uh, but here's one I'm excited about here is this service revenue. I mean, it's a really underrated piece of the business and how fast that one's growing. 23.12 against 23.3 is what they expected here. Uh, gross margin right in line with expectations. So, I mean, I look at those numbers and I'm not blown away by anything because um, I expected the iPhone sales to be where they're at. Everything else just kind of falls in line with expectation for the most part. Um <clears throat> Nothing crazy. Now, they didn't provide guidance for the current quarter ending in March. So I, I don't know where we get this headline. They'll probably bring it up. But we're coming up with this sensation, sensationalized headline for clicks uh, about the, the management provided bleak guidance. They didn't. They just didn't provide Outlook. So, um, uh, they, so the CFO expects... Um, <clears throat> iPhone sales in the March quarter would be similar to last year's 51.33 billion. Um, 
So that's not. I mean, wh where's the negativity at? I don't know. That doesn't seem like anything bad related to iPhone sales at all. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. So this is kind of stupid because they didn't provide guidance, but they literally did provide guidance. CNBC, are we going to have to switch from you? Let me just, add, just, I just switched from, from seeking alpha. There's no alpha you're seeking there. You're about to seek, I mean, it's omega because it's the end of all times when you go to seeking alpha. It's the worst thing ever. Here's this punchable guy on the right side again. Don't like his face. Get him out of here. Um, <clears throat> whose name is freaking Chernobyl or something. What is that? He's named after a uh, something you scrape on the ground and, and draw draw freaking things on your on your uh, on your driveway. And then your your parents get upset with you because you're drawing things on the driveway. Then they gotta wash it off and you made a mess all over the driveway. It's, it's just a big old mess. Maybe it makes it look bad. What's that about? What's he named after? I don't even get it. Um <clears throat> anyways, let's get past CNBC. Get get this out out of here. Um let's take a look at the investor relations page. Pretty good from Apple, right? We do it. We always rate it. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, gets about a. I guess we should do a number rating, shouldn't we? In terms of investor relations, I'm honestly going to give about uh, probably an an eight one um, out of ten. Obviously, it's the only only scoring method that you do. Um, <clears throat> seems high, I know, because it's a pretty basic page, but. If you've seen as many investor relations pages of I as I have, you realize there's some really bad ones. Um, <clears throat> let's really quickly touch this piece of it, and then we can get into some of the charts. Um, first quarter results: services reach record all-time highs. EPS up 16% to an all-time high. Yeah, you didn't think you were getting a little bit of harmony here today, but here we go. So from Cupertino, baby. Doesn't seem like a fake. Wait, doesn't seem like a real name. It does seem like a fake name. That's what I meant to say. Don't catch me slipping. Um, there we go. Yeah, so revenue is up 2% uh, is what I was thinking. And then as you see that EPS up 16%, that's pretty significant. I mean, it really is. I'm not going to get the respect it deserves. I ain't getting no respect. Um, but it deserves the respect. So Tim Cook here. He's happy with. He's pleased with the results. An installed base of active devices now surpasses 2.2 billion dollars, which is an all-time high. Um, and customers are beginning to experience the Apple Vision Pro. And I'm guessing I belch just a little bit. Might be audible. Uh, I tried to hold in as best I could, but you know, I just ate that meatball sub, dude. I made it myself. It was freaking delicious. Didn't burn the balls. So maybe. Some people thought I would, uh, but I didn't. Um, uh, Apple Vision Pro, that's kind of wild. So they included that into their segment with like the wearables and stuff of that nature. So it's it's an interesting concept. Obviously, only the rich of the rich will be buying that. So I don't know. Um, classic, you know, the 24 cents per share. Nothing crazy there in terms of the dividend. So, yeah, I mean, nothing nothing really to, to mention incredibly. Uh yeah, I mean, let's get into, oh, I thought I had pulled up, did I not? I'm so sorry, I thought I had the financial statements pulled up, what am I doing? Uh, let's increase the zoom just a little bit for you, because if you're like me, you might not be able to see anything, because I can't. Um, <clears throat> love the services line, again, you see this, products was relatively flat year over year, just a little bit of growth there. But here we do see growth in the services, um, which that's what I like to see. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I love seeing that. That's what I told you. Services is the play. $2.5 billion. That's the fastest growing segment of Apple Eat Apple um, Cost of sales did decrease a little bit in products, which is, to me, I think kind of odd. And the reason I say that, again, now the F-Vision Pro is not like, it's not a big mainstream thing quite yet. What's this dog looking at? It looks like he's trying to bark. He better not. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna tell him no. Okay. Uh, but you'd think that's something that would cost a lot of money to produce and the technology there. So just curious on that one. Um, services increased a little bit there. Um, not quite by nearly as much as you know that revenue increase. So I'm not too bothered by it. Operating expenses uh, stayed relatively flat, which is good, and that means this net income line is going to increase, which it did. $33.9 billion 
against 29.9. Uh, and I say it, this is the reason why I'm invested in Apple is you don't uh, you don't find much better than it. I mean, 33, really 34 billion. Let's round that up, you son of a gun. I'm rounding it up. Revenue of 120 billion. Man, dragon fruit berry. Body armor light. Pretty delicious. Um, $120 billion and $34 billion net income? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I mean, again, it's about 25%, so it's not a little bit, a little bit higher than that. Let's be fair here. Let's, let's, let's give it about 28%. Okay, let's do that math in our head. I'll give it 28%. Calculate in my brain. Don't ever doubt it. Um, 28% of your revenue is net income. Beautiful to see that. Just means it's what I would say, and I say it a lot, printing money. It's printing money, right? $33 billion and a quarter is printing. I said it. Um, that's in a quarter, by the way. So we'll see the full year coming up here, too. Um, so total net sales. Uh, you know, the concern here, this is where you see that the stock is down. It's this line, right? Greater China. Um, down Three billion dollars. Now the other segments saw increase. Europe saw an increase by that amount, but we're not going to be excited about that. Uh, Europe's a bigger segment, and we increased it by just as much. But we're more worried about China. I mean, I don't know. I, I look, uh, Japan increased. Uh, U.S. increased. Uh, look, uh, finicky. People are finicky, right? Shareholders are a little finicky here. Uh, net sales by segment. Here's that wearables, home, and accessories, which they called other before for some reason. CNBC did. It's just that's just the title is wearables, uh, home, and accessories. So when you look year over year, obviously iPad down quite a bit. I mean, it's it's not, uh, you know, it's not the in thing right now. Mac um, flat, uh, iPhone increased to a good amount, uh, about four billion. Services increased by three billion. Beautiful and wearables, home, accessories. I told you this would be down a little bit too, and it it was. Um, down about 1.5 billion. So overall, though, net revenues did uh, did increase. I get the balance sheet early on in this little financial statements because there's only a few on this this PDF. Um, yeah, I love seeing them early. So, anyways, let's take a look from uh, it's it's. I, I don't like the way Apple's doing me here. They're doing me dirty, and they're only giving me a three month comparison on the balance sheet. I'd love to see more. So total assets in general over the last three months are really flat. I mean, it's $1 billion more. Not really relevant to me. It's just not a significant change. I'd like to see the full year. That's what I like to I like to look at. Now, one thing that I will say is significant is when you look at the liabilities. Now, even though the assets weren't really changed, I'm going to say they're unchanged, there was a decent change here in total liabilities. Um, and why do I say that? Well, it went from 290 um uh, even uh, over the last three months, we went from 290 to 279. So we're talking about $11 billion less in terms of liabilities. Um, and that stems solely from current liabilities, by the way. None of these long-term changed. The big change here, accounts payable, they clearly paid some of that down. And other current liabilities, they paid some of that down. And then this commercial paper as well. Um, so you know, stuff that they've, you know, those, those bonds and stuff, stuffs of that nature. You ever do it, mess with them in commercial papers? I've never messed with them. So anyway, fundraising activities, um, there's current liabilities. So yeah, that's, uh, that's that. So you see a share, she, yikes, see a shareholder equity, $74 billion. Now I could see them tighten this up here a little bit, right? They definitely did over the last three months, but I'd love to see them tighten it up just a little bit, right? The whole balance sheet's worth $353 billion. I'd love to see that uh, shareholder equity line top, you know, I'm asking a lot here. I am. I know I am. Right now, it's about 25%. I like it to be closer to 30 to 33%, and I think they're going to get there. There's no doubt about it. Um, it's still a, a good balance sheet. I mean, there's, uh, I just need to say that. Um, I don't know why I have that thing highlighted. So yeah, it's still pretty good. Then we look at this. Let's just take a look at the statistics. And and here's where I think Apple, man, despite being a $3 trillion company, uh, they're, they, they deserve 
I think they deserve to be up a little bit higher. And I say that because of the fact that, well, I look at this forward P.E. ratio. After today, it's going to be under 25. Ridiculously cheap. The trailing P.E. going to be under 30, probably closer to 28. It's ridiculously cheap. I think the stock's trading pretty darn cheap um, for the value that it holds over the next 5, 10 years. But that's what I got for you. I want to know your opinion, and I uh, hope you have a good one. Ah!